Hey y'all, what's going on? It's Hunter Reilly here, and I'm at the Hawksworth booth, and I have met my new BFF, Brad. Brad is going to talk to us about some silencers, but he's also going to educate us on a couple things that have transferred, transpired. So, if you would, brother, you're the genius here. Yeah, man. Let's, let's rock and roll. What you got? Yeah, so Huxworks, are, it's also known as uh, the Human Exposure Workshop, uh, formerly OSS, uh, which probably a lot of you guys know us as. Um, we rebranded as a safety company going after military contracts. This is a lot easier to approach under a safety company, uh, but you still have that same flow through technology that we've always had. Right, some of the newest offerings that we have are those 3D printing cans, um, which is this guy here. So it's fully 3D printed, um, and so it's going to be lighter, stronger, more durable, uh, and quieter than even our full size can. Oh, really? Yeah, so uh, it's, it's incredible technology, right? That technology that goes into it. So I have a cutaway here, and right as the gases are being put into the weapon or into the suppressor, the gases are gonna be redirected through these coils. They go through the upper layer, middle section, and then back down through the lower section and out the front, right? So you don't have that blowback coming back into your face. So this is still an OSS kind of can. The name changed. Mm -hmm. But the technology, it still flowed through. It's, yep. it's, it's what people have come to expect. It's, this is going to remain the same and continue to advance. Exactly. We just got a name change. Yep, exactly. For the, for the most part. Yeah, yeah. So with the name change, that's when we also announced our 3D printing can. Okay. So that was kind of like a whole like, hey, we're now Huxworks and we've got this really cool product. So this silencer is, is 3D printed. Correct. Full, yeah, 17 4 stainless. It's 3D printed out of stainless steel. Yes. Wow, yeah. okay, very cool. And so that's that's probably cutting edge technology. It is, so they've been using this technology in aerospace for quite some time, okay. probably, uh, don't quote me, 10, 15 years. Okay, okay right. Give uh, yeah, but it's actually really cool how they print it. So it actually is a big plate and they'll um, spread just 17-4 uh, stainless powder, basically is what it is. And then there's lasers that will go through and etch in the design layer by layer, just like you would with a normal 3D printer, right? And then it just builds slowly but surely all the way to the top really? uh, and it takes like 36 hours or so to print so but it's cool you can do I think it's like 25 or so on one sheet so oh. yeah really cool so it's a little slower than machining or, or is it it's actually faster overall because now we're doing 25 at a time okay but so then you're not printing one at a time yeah so it's 25 in a big sheet and they'll go through and you know so they'll go through and laser it uh, and then after that, after it's printed, so um, all we have to do is machine the flash hider okay. in the front because it's just a puck, and then we'll go through and just machine the design. And then we put the threads on, um, and then it, you know, it, it goes through different layers of coating, right? Sure. The Cerakote and everything like that. But after that, it's ready to go. What's the price point of something like this? Um, so the Flow 556 uh, starts around 1200 So um, still reasonable? Yeah, and that's with the kit, so that includes our proprietary uh, muzzle device, which you need to have for, sure. for this, right? Because as it's shooting, these uh, vents are canted, so it's actually self-tightening onto the muzzle device. Oh. So you don't have to worry about safeties or anything. The can's not going to it's it's not gonna walk off, off. Yeah. and that'll help prevent baffle strikes. Exactly, yeah. Okay. The only reason that you could ever have a baffle strike with us is if you improperly install your muscle games. Which, it's, I mean, most anybody can get that figured out. It just threads on and snugs up, right? Yeah, and one of the things, or the product that we're releasing here at SHOT Show is uh, we just came out with our own alignment rods as well. So, yeah, so if you guys are worried about that, you can get some alignment rods. We have cleaning kits that just got released as well. Uh, so we've got some really cool new products that are supporting our uh, our suppressors as well. Awesome. Well, Brad, I know you're super busy, man, but yeah, I, no problem, dude. I, I'm thankful for the information, but I'm really thankful to see the OSS flow through stuff is, is still alive and well and continue developing up and onward. Yeah, absolutely. And we've got a lot of really, really cool products coming out this year. So just wait to just, it's going to be nuts. I have no idea. I have really cool. Really cool. Cool. Thank you, brother. Yeah, I appreciate absolutely. it, man. Yeah, absolutely, man. See you. I'll be good.